So how would people go about finding out more about the options and opportunities in rural Scotland? There's a number of different places that you can do that. I think um, I would definitely recommend following your local college, getting in touch with them to understand what types of opportunities they have. I mean, there's some fantastic opportunities being delivered through the colleges that tie in with net zero ambition, digital jobs, like really exciting areas. I would also recommend sort of following, so we've got a hashtag that we use, it's Rural Skills Scotland. And I think if you were to follow that, you're you're getting a lot of material that's being shared from a lot of different sources, because quite often it can just be about making sure that you're following the right people, that you're getting information about funding opportunities when they come. So we've we've recently had different opportunities highlighted. We've had things like the National Transition Training Fund. We've also had funding opportunities that Lantra have been involved in. So things like Women in Agriculture Practical Training Fund, Women in Rural Economy Training Fund, and they've now got one around um, climate emergency mitigation and adaptation. So we're trying to use that hashtag Rural Skills Scotland as a place to kind of share a lot of that information. I think it's important to note that, you know, there are a lot of opportunities that are available nationally as well that can be utilised by people in rural areas. I I would certainly advise going on to look at the enterprise agency pages. So that would be either depending on where you are, Scottish Enterprise, Highlands and Islands Enterprise or South of Scotland Enterprise. They're often putting up a lot of information about sort of case studies about um, self-employment or how communities are responding to challenges around net zero. Some really inspirational stuff. The enterprise agencies, of course, also talk about sort of funding opportunities. Again, I I do think that's a great place to go. Um, And I think probably the last one that I'd mention is the Be Your Own Boss section on the My World of Work site, because we know that we have a lot of entrepreneurs in rural Scotland and self-employment you know, is a really important pathway for people in rural communities. So that's a great place to kind of see some case study material, maybe signpost to some other partners who might be able to, to help if people are considering um, a self-employed career. So we've got partners like GrowBiz who help businesses who are setting up, but also help businesses who are established. And we've also got other people like the Rural Youth Project once you're kind of tapped into to a lot of the different people who can help you understand what the support network is, where the opportunities are, then I think you'll really find that it helps to tailor down what you're looking for.